This trip to Thailand has been wonderful. If you've never been to Asia or the Far East, I would say go to Thailand first. It's beautiful. The people are so friendly. I've fallen in love with Asia and now I want to come back. This has been such a unique experience going from a grand palace to having local food in someone's house. And you get unforgettable moments. All of your senses are tantalized. You get an experience visually and the taste and the food and everything is just, it's awesome. Gate One's classic Thailand with Phuket begins in Bangkok, home to the Grand Palace and the giant reclining Buddha. We then fly to the mountainous region of Chiang Mai, where we visit Thailand's most sacred temple and have dinner at a private home. Next, we travel to the scenic landscapes of Chiang Rai, with the option to visit the long-necked hill tribe. We then journey south to visit the historic monuments and temples of Sukhothai and the ancient capital of Ayutthaya before flying to the jade-colored waters and world-class beaches on the island of Phuket, where you can relax on your own or join us as we explore the nearby picturesque islands before returning to Bangkok. Bangkok is a roaring city. It was such a lovely experience. We were going from the Grand Palace to a flower market, Seeing how the city works on the other side of the world, it was so different. Yeah, I really liked Bangkok. The palace in Bangkok was stunning. I've never seen anything so stimulating visually. And seeing the reclining Buddha is just something you can't miss. Bangkok was so cosmopolitan, yet some people still wore the traditional dress with the traditional markets. It was really a, a dichotomy. It was fabulous. Chiang Mai is it my hometown. I love the location that Gate One chose because we were in the middle of everything. And I think that's where people really got into the night markets. I'm a real shopaholic and there is shopping to be had in this area. We have a lot of temple around Thailand, but many of temple also, they are unique. The temples are marvelous. The beauty is obvious, but what it really brings to the culture and the day-to-day -day life is, is very apparent. The White Temple is unlike anything I've ever seen in the world. There's so much attention to detail. My favorite by far was the White Temple. It was beautiful. I also did enjoy the ruins at Sukhothai and Ayutthaya. I'm glad that was part because I think I enjoyed seeing the ruins more than the modern temples even. Ayutthaya is giving you a feeling of the golden era in the Thai history, while Sukhothai, it gives us more spiritual feeling because that's about the time we start having our history. Going up into the hills with the hill people, that was worth the price of the trip, just that one experience. If you don't do any other optional trips, do the hill tribe, go and see the people there. It's truly a don't miss experience. The people, they're very approachable, they're eager to share their customs. While they are, there are some that are continuing on, there's no guarantee how long this will go. So if you have a chance, don't miss it. You might come back and, and they won't be there. So uh, definitely see the hill tribe. To go into Burma was an incredible experience. I felt like it was kind of visiting a place that was a little further back in time. The people were just as friendly as the people in Thailand. We had a chance to visit nuns, and we had a chance to experience them chanting for us. That was a unique experience, and it was one of the Gate One extras that you do not get as an independent traveler. When people say, what's it like when you go to Phuket? I say, it's like opening a little jewel box. Every day is a jewel in Phuket. Even if you just sit and look at it, it's beautiful. Phuket, you know, Phuket is about the islands. So I enjoyed going out and seeing, getting a taste of some of the islands and some of the wildlife. 
Gate one, we have optional tour to visit it like a Panga Bay and James Bond Island. Don't miss it because this place was used for the background of the movie James Bond, the man with golden gun. That day was really nice because the boat was really relaxing and the breeze made it really cool and the canoeing was so nice. All of a sudden you have these beautiful limestone pillars come out of the water and limestone caves and the water is clear and beautiful, which is really nice, very dramatic. The next day was a speedboat, very different trips, completely different trips. The ocean that we swam in was fantastic. You just bob like a cork. I have never spent so much time in the water. The water's clear, it's turquoise, the sand is white, and everybody on that island was having fun. I went snorkeling, and I will say it was one of the better snorkeling adventures I've had. And I was able to go kind of wherever I wanted to, and I feel like I saw a, probably more fish than I've ever seen snorkeling. So I enjoyed the snorkeling, I enjoyed being able to snorkel up onto the beach and just relax on the beach and come back. That was a great experience for me. Gate one! I've done nine Gate One trips. When I travel, I want to have a cultural experience. To meet the people, learn something about the culture, Gate One gives me that. So our tour manager for this trip is named O, and he's been really funny. He's been super animated and very educated on every place that we've been. I had so much guidance and so much information. I knew where to shop, I knew where to eat. I felt incredibly safe. Gate One is an incredible value for what you get. The hotels have been delicious. The hotels that Gate One puts you into are really better than the hotels that we would have chosen ourselves. And we have loved the food the variety, new things. The abundance of vegetables and fruits has just been incredible. We've been eating three times a day, but within each meal, there's like four different courses in each of them. It's amazing. Wait, to our new Gate One family. One of the things is you meet wonderful people on the trips. And actually, we're on this Gate One trip with another couple that we met on a previous trip. I've gotten to meet some amazing people on the tour. We're all experiencing this together, so there's definitely a camaraderie between the group. I would definitely recommend this trip to other people that are looking to come to Thailand. Gate One has not disappointed us in the past, and this is a super trip as well. And I would recommend it to anyone that wants to just have a unique experience to hook up with Gate One and head off to Thailand.